Controversial judge in the low country whose conduct and decisions have alarmed some attorneys and even victims families will no longer be on the bench come this summer. Our Katie Cameron brings us more on why one family believes he's not fit to preside over cases, why state lawmakers decided not to reelect him as a judge, and why his supporters say not having him on the bench is a loss for the Ninth Circuit. Dolores Wilder never got to say goodbye to her son. They wouldn't let us see him. And then my brother actually told me that he was gone, that he was shot. I didn't have words to express what I felt. It's like someone shot me. Malik Gibbs was 19 when he was murdered in Berkeley County in 2020. His body lifeless in the car next to the bodies of his two friends who'd also been shot and killed. It was execution style because it's not just you shot somebody. Um, Malik was shot five times. Jaquan Washington was charged with the three murders. At the time, he was out on bond for other charges, including attempted murder and weapons charges. Danell McKelvey was later charged as an accessory. Not getting any answers is like just so heavy on you. It's it's bearing on you every day, every day. As the defendants worked their way through the judicial system, Gibbs family was in the courtroom for every bond hearing and appearance. And for many of those hearings, Circuit Court Judge Bentley Price was on the bench. The family says they were consistently shocked by his conduct and rulings. They say he favored the defense and was unconcerned about them. He also allowed Washington out on bond despite the shocking details of the triple murder and Washington's other pending charges. I really and truly do not want Judge Price to be associated with this case. Depending on the timing, the family may get their wish. Come June of 2024, Price will no longer be on the bench. Failing to get a majority, the motion fails. He then is not found qualified and cannot move forward in the process. According to State Representative Micah Kasky, the chairman of the Judicial Merit Selection Commission, this week, Price did not get enough votes on his qualification to continue. Kasky says Price will lose his seat when his term expires next summer. Taking in all of the evidence that was presented to the commission, uh, my judgment was that uh, he didn't need to continue his service on the bench. But longtime friend and attorney Sean Kent says Price's departure from the bench will be a major loss for the low country. The guy is one of the hardest working judges they've ever had. He will work late. He'll come in early. The reason that there can be so much negative press about a guy like Judge Price is he takes all the errors. You know, he's not afraid to make the tough decisions. Kent tells us he doesn't agree with the way the judicial selection process plays out, where people can anonymously weigh in on a judicial candidate. And now if I'm a judge. I'm watching this and watch happening with Judge Price. I'm scared. It's just like, all right, we don't want to make the tough decisions or we don't want to make a quick decision. Quick is not how the judicial system has been with Gibbs family. January will mark four years since the three murders. Four years of mourning and four years without Gibbs and his laughter and kindness. The family says nothing will truly bring them justice, but they hope whoever presides over the trial will hold the defendants accountable. My son will never be able to come back. So the life that he cannot have to walk around freely, I don't feel that they should be allowed to do either. For Life 5 Investigates, I'm Katie Kamen.